Good morning. Welcome to dot programming dot blogspot dot com. Uh, this is my blog. Today, I will show you how to set the primary key uh, to data tables. You um, in C sharp. So, in according to my previous video tutorials, I I set the identity column to data table. Uh, in this video, I will show you the primary key columns. according to the previous video first of all create a data table objects and set some columns inside a data table a dtable dot columns dot add range uh, according to you know very well about uh, add range method add range is used where you want to put array Okay. Now define columns under data table. That is ID, new data column. That is name and the city. Okay. You can all uh, you can define others. in this way uh you know very well about the primary key the primary key is not a null and a unique uh, in the in a table or you can say the record of the data not duplicacy uh, available in primary key columns also a many business rules applied on columns by using primary key and that rules applied on each row of table so we have a three column id name and city now set the id is primary key column so dtable dot primary key equals to new data columns and what column you want to set at the primary key column so define under here dtable dot columns of id is set to primary key okay d table dot rows dot add add some rows in the data table and after that rows add into the data table and bind that data table with the data grid view so here we have some rows in data table like one bill in los angeles two in jacob katria okay add bind that data grid view with the data table so define the data source property d table yeah that's fine here now duplicate that row for second column and raise an exceptions yeah that's fine additional information is here column id is constraints to be unique and value 2 is already present that is there already is present in jacobs 
सो थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो टूटोरियल प्लीज़ कीप वॉचिंग माई